wanted to uh, to formally welcome you to the Shape and Destroy tour. But yeah, there was a time. Well, first off, like on a global note, I just wanted to thank the people who decided to come here tonight. That were okay, but this was the first show that sold out on the tour, and there was a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. So, it's just like keep with the trend. Uh, but there are also people that were uncomfortable with what Live Nation and my promoter put the policies in place. And I just want to say, like, on behalf of all of us, we are so fucking grateful that you guys were okay with that. We don't have to be like that forever. And for us to get back to work, we got to do some things. So we just really appreciate that. So anyways, on a personal note, uh, this record, I wanted to tour this record because I needed it to be kind of like the closing, like the final close of this era of Halloween, Dying Star, Shape and Destroy. Shape and Destroy was a weapon for me to be able to beat out the lesser parts of myself that it seemed to kind of take prominence in my life. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, as I was telling the, uh, uh, the, the Greed and Destroy folks earlier, um, there was a time where I wasn't sure if I knew how to create, if I knew how to write a song without imbibing in several substances at once. And I didn't know if I would be able to beat my addiction. I didn't know if I would be able to... choices and I could call my dude in England that would have been the easy choice um, but also I was kind of feeling lazy so I was like I mean and my guitar was just sitting there and my label was like where are the songs for your record I was like, God, I like started that was t I'm gonna be honest with you, I was terrified to write a song and I had you know prided myself and in my community in Nashville as being someone that could write a song on the spot and I felt like that had left me, like I had been punished or something because of uh, the way that I was living my life. And I, I don't believe that, but I do believe that when you're given something special and every single person in this room has something special to offer in the world, whatever that is. And when you're given something like that and it brings you immense joy, when you abuse it, I think that the universe teaches you what your life is like without it. And I felt that emptiness for the first time. And instead of picking up the phone, I picked up my guitar, and this was the first song that was written for Shape and Destroy. <laughs> 